Hey guys, and welcome to a video covering the new Yak track, or more specifically, the problem with a 25% experience boost behind a paywall. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now I'd like to start off by saying I don't care about experience in this game from my personal account. But that doesn't mean I don't care about game integrity. Now as a max player, I don't think I've ever completed a Yak track simply because I don't see the point of grinding so many skills I've already leveled to 99. That is, unless I want some of the cosmetics which I would then grind for or buy skips for. Now I don't think the Yak track is necessarily a bad thing, it gives players an incentive to try content they might not have done yet or haven't done in a while and if you're going for max it's probably amazing to get some cosmetic rewards while doing some activities you would have probably done anyway however with this yak track you can gain up to 25 percent bonus experience in all skills for the duration of the entire yak track which is usually six weeks that is ridiculous let me explain why. So every five tiers leading up to tier 45, you gain 1% bonus experience in all skills. In previous Jack Track events, you would gain 2% at certain ranks in a specific skill, so it's not something entirely new. However, this is for all skills. Now at rank 45 and all the way up to level 49, you will have 9% bonus experience in all skills. This is still lower than the Refer a Friend scroll, which requires you to use two bonds and a fresh account if you want to give your account that bonus. Now, at rank 50, you'll gain an additional 16%, which means a total of 25% boosted bonus XP for the entire duration of the event. This is a big problem because, first of all, it takes a long time to get there. And second of all, you can get there by simply buying 10 bonds and getting yourself 50 skips. That is paid to... I'd almost say it's not paid to win, but it's paid to get access to that buff straight away, which means you'll have that buff for longer, which technically means it's paid to gain XP faster, which I guess that's kind of paid to win, even though there's no winning in RuneScape, let's be honest here. But that is definitely not a fair thing. And they definitely designed the Jack track to sell bonds because... The final level, the final tier of the Yak Track, contributes to 64% of the total bonus XP you can gain. Because 16 divided by 25 is 0.64, obviously. So 64% of the XP is gained from that final level. They could not have made it more obvious that they're trying to get players to buy skips. Because a lot of players will want those XP buffs, more bonds go out of the game, bond prices go up, more players buy bonds to get more GP in game, Jagex wins. Now like I said earlier, I don't necessarily care too much about experience buffs because we already have so many in game and XP inflation is going to be inevitable at this point. But the problem I have with this Yak track is that it creates fear of missing out. Especially if you're going for max or doing something skilling related, you will probably want to have this or you'll feel like you're missing out because six weeks of 25% more experience is huge. It's simply too big of an experience buff to put behind a paywall. And you could say, yeah, you can simply grind it out, but at that point, you'll probably miss out on four weeks of that buff. And comparing this to Treasure Hunter isn't fair either as Treasure Hunter is trash bang for a buck. And in case someone brings up double XP live, I think having four double XP events a year is a good thing. And it's something everyone has access to as well. This is something not everyone will be able to grind out or have the money for. This Yak track will not enrich the player's experience and forces them to play either a lot more than they usually play to gain access to that buff, thereby diminishing their returns because they didn't have access to it straight away, or forcing players to pay up with GP or IRL money. That is predatory design. I didn't expect the Yak track, or what used to be Rune Pass, to come to this point, but it has. And even though it doesn't affect me or you because we might not care about the cosmetics and XP buff because we're maxed and we don't care about, you know, some when or jazz stuff, it still is a bad thing for the game. This isn't it, Jagex. This isn't it.